3D experience Katia has many differences when compared to SOLIDWORKS that may throw users off guard while adopting the software. These differences can be found in areas such as infrastructure, workbenches with different functionalities, as well as features inside tools. This video will highlight a few of the major differences between SOLIDWORKS and 3D experience Katia to help ease this transition. With any new software, there are bound to be baseline differences such as interface and infrastructure. We will start this presentation by taking a look at those. The 3D Experience platform has a browser-based component which enables high-level access to your data anywhere at any time. Directly from the browser interface, you can perform actions such as creating design reviews, generating issues and assigning team members to them, performing model comparisons, grabbing measurements, and cutting sections, only to name a few. 3D Experience is not just a software for your CAD and PLM, but a business platform that is powered simultaneously by Katia, Innovia, Simulia, and Delmia. Because of this, you are not required to export or convert your CAD data in order to bring it into a simulation or manufacturing software. All data is accessed and modified from a single version on the platform. This ensures that any data being shared or worked on is always the latest and most up to date. In both SOLIDWORKS as well as 3D Experience Katia, you can create your geometry in bodies which require you to work in a top to bottom approach, where each command is ordered and consumes the previous command. While working in these bodies, 3D Experience Katia affords you the ability to work on multiple bodies in different areas of the tree and at different times with the intention of combining them later. This functionality is ideal for better organization of the design tree and makes it easier to focus on that area without having to consider the other bodies as heavily. However, 3D Experience Katia goes a step further and allows you to work in what's called geometric sets or geosets. These bodies enable you to work in a non-ordered manner. This way, the commands do not get consumed and can be reused and reordered without affecting the other child data connected to it. 3D Experience Katia provides the ability to create inputs on the fly. For example, if I click the extrude command for a surface, but do not have a wireframe to extrude with, I can create the wireframe directly from the wireframe input field in the extrude command. I can even go a level deeper by creating the points to define the wireframe in the same way. Furthermore, anything that is created inside of a command is nested into that command from within the tree. As we can see here, the line and points I created on the fly are contained within the extrude commands node within my design tree. 3D Experience Katia takes parametric design a step further by providing the use of what's called publications. Publications are effectively parameters which can be copied from one part to another. The primary difference here is that these parameters can be linked between the parent and the child. This way, when the parent parameters are modified, those modifications can easily be pushed to the child part or parts without having to replace the original reference. To access your different workbenches, 3D Experience Katia provides a list of apps to choose from. Here, you will find many of the same workbenches provided in SOLIDWORKS, such as part, assembly, and drawing design. However, there are a number of apps offered in 3D Experience Katia that provide additional functionality, provided that you have the proper licenses, of course. 3D Experience Katia provides a list of tools dedicated to designing composites. Within these tools, you can design and define your entire ply stacking, build your top surfaces and resulting solids, as well as generate your flat patterns while considering the thickness changes as more and more plies are laid. On top of generating plies, you can also run simulations for producibility, which checks the warp and weft of the plies during the hand layup process. Simultaneously, you can also check the ply size against the roll width, as well as apply darts and splices where necessary. Before you send your data off to manufacturing and simulation, you can run some extra probes such as cross sections, exploding the plies, and grabbing core samples, to name a few. As mentioned earlier, 
This design data can be utilized in your simulation and manufacturing applications without the need to convert or export the data. Finally, when you are ready to produce your composite parts, you have the options to create a 2D drawing complete with ply data, generate flat patterns and export to 2D or 3D IGES, XML, or DXF, and you can also export to formats compatible with laser projectors, which assist in placing plies during the hand layup process. 3D Experience provide apps which allow you to design using visual scripting as opposed to the tree-based scheme you are used to. Designing in this manner affords you the ability to create patterns and lattices on a large scale that were once much more difficult when using the traditional tree method. The 3D Experience Katia has a suite of applications which enable the design, tracking, and maintenance of your model-based systems engineering, or MBSE. Within 3D Experience Katia, the MBSE structure is split out into four different regions, requirements, functional, logical, and physical. The requirements track the deliverables of the project for all stakeholders, while the functional node houses the black box model for what operations the product is intended to perform. Simultaneously, the logical node will expand on the functional node and provide the white box breakdown of the functionality. And finally, the physical product node is represented by your CAD models. With MBSE powered by 3D Experience Katia, all of these aspects are interconnected once more, providing a single source of truth around your projects, ensuring that the data you are working with is always the latest and most up-to-date.